this crisis. Finding a friend who is there with a hand or a truck or both, like Robbie Goff, is priceless. Having a Sunday Bible study class with Barbara and Ray and Nancy and Debbie, it challenges me to share my deepest self and to find true biblical insight for my life is priceless. Finding a Wednesday morning work group led by Ed Smith that makes you feel a part of them immediately and shares concerns and joys with each other is priceless. Finding golfing buddies, basketball buddies, softball buddies, and sports buddies of all types like W.C. Keith and Tom Mundell and Larry Martin and Johnny Ellen, for a certified sports nut like me, is priceless. Finding a series of music ministers, with Alba the latest, who further my musical growth and gospel ministry, is priceless. And there are many other few priceless gifts I can mention. So finding ways to acknowledge these priceless gifts is easy. Use my time and talents and financial resources to ensure these priceless treasures will always have a place to continue to bless my life and yours. When he was asked what he thought the greatest commandment was, Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is what my wife Sarah and I have found at UBC, a place where we can pursue our ability to do that, which we understand is a call to worship and to fellowship. We were not quite as efficient as Mrs. Overbeck. We attended more than a dozen churches before we found UBC and decided to make it our church home. And in doing so, we have been empowered to worship in the ways that allow us to become more like the people God intends us to be. And how could we not with such wonderful music as we heard today with the anthem and such uplifting and encouraging messages as Michael's this morning upon us to stand firm and the opportunities to worship with our broader global community as we learned from Professor Bachter's Montsor. The ability to worship and fellowship in a place like this is a true blessing. And my wife will tell you a little bit more about how we have been able to fellowship here at UBC. Almost exactly one year ago, Brian came home and told me that we'd been invited to have dinner with one of his dad's friends, a new pastor at University Baptist Church. I should have been excited because five months pregnant, anemic, had a two year old, very unconscious boy, and was working full time. But my response was, I'm usually in my pajamas by four o'clock on Friday. <laughs> Well, we went to Michael's house, and I was expecting to be bombarded with all of this talk about how great the church was and how we should be coming and what made UBC so special. We weren't bombarded. We were simply invited to the program Michael was starting, the Young Couples Group. This was something that we'd actually been looking for for about eight years in Charlottesville and couldn't quite find the right place to fit in. We felt like everyone was either ahead of us or behind us in their life cycle, and we couldn't find a place that we felt welcome. We went to the first dinner, and Ellen and Phil Wilson were there. Ellen was about two weeks ahead of her pregnancy, and that's the only way I was able to keep up with my pregnancy along the way, was asking Ellen. Uh, the first Sunday we came to church, Judy said, Liam, come on in, we've heard all about you, and welcomed us right away. And a few months later, Ellen and I found ourselves in the hospital within a few days of each other with unplanned C-sections, and were able to support each other through that. And a few days after that, I um, had a nine-year-old baby and a two-year-old, and Brent totally wrecked his knee playing soccer. Uh, I wasn't able to lift anything heavier than my child, uh, which includes a wriggling two-year-old, and uh, was not able to do a whole lot around the house, and neither was Brent. The church came through right away with uh, all kinds of support and meals. And a few uh, months after that, when I decided to be a stay-at-home mom, Amanda and Aaron, um, welcomed me to their club, and we're kind of figuring all that out again. So, the past year has been a really wonderful experience for us to finally feel like there's a group of people that not only want us here, but encourage us uh, continually to come and to be a part, and we're glad to be a part of the UBC. On behalf of the Stewardship Committee, and I hope on behalf of all of UC 
sitting here and all of you listening that we thank you so much for willing to be come up to come up and give your testimony. Um, one of the other things that we did that was a little different this year was we asked um, certain leadership groups in this church to pledge early. As a way to express our own commitment, many of our church leaders, including Michael and his family, and members of the staff, deacons, church council, and the stewardship committee, and some of their family members, are standing firm together by pre-pledging to our campaign. I invite you to join us in prayerfully considering how you may also excel in gifts that build up the church. Will you please bow with me in prayer? Father God, you have called us to work in the fields, bringing people to Christ and ministering to people both in our church and outside our church. Lord God, we ask that you strengthen us for this. And Lord, we ask as we bring these gifts to return to you, we ask that you bless these gifts. Bless them to do your work, to manifest you and all your glory in the world around us. We offer this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 